Okay, this is uh, four point one notes, and um, the first thing you need for the notes is to uh, copy down these seven triangles. They can be found on page two hundred seventeen of your textbook. You need to write down that a scalene triangle has no congruent sides. Uh, an isosceles triangle has so scalene has no congruent sides, and uh, an isosceles triangle has two congruent sides. Actually, and scratch that out. It's just two congruent sides, not at least two congruent sides. It's two congruent sides. Um, equilateral triangle is uh, three congruent sides, and right there, and an acute triangle. This is if you now are classifying triangles by angles. An acute triangle has three acute angles, and a right triangle has just one right angle and an obtuse triangle has one obtuse angle, and then an equiangular triangle. Equi means equal, angular is referring to the angles, of course, so equiangular means three congruent triangles. Okay, so you can pause the, um, the, um, the presentation and uh, write these down if you haven't already done so. And again, they can be found on page 217. Okay, and um, now is a problem. I want you to draw an obtuse isosceles triangle. So again, you can pause the presentation and give it your attempt at drawing an obtuse isosceles triangle. And um, here's one way. Okay, um, there's the obtuse angle, um, which I can't get to, so I'm gonna have to uh, just leave it like this. And um, so that's it. You can pause it and and uh, check for accuracy. Uh, come to class or see me um, by arrangement and we can uh, discuss this if you got that wrong. Uh, next, draw an acute scalene triangle. Again, you can uh, pause the presentation and uh, uh, give that a shot. And here's one way. Um, you can do that um, either that way or you can show um, by tick marks if you want. One, two, one, two, three, showing that there's um, uh, different um, lengths, three different lengths. A scalene triangle has legs of all different lengths. And let me move on here. Okay, uh, problem. These are the uh, problems that will be uh, typical of this section, problems that you'll see on the quiz and test. Triangle ABC has the vertices A is 0, 0, B is 3, 3, and C is negative 3, 3. Classify it by its sides and then determine if it is a right triangle. So there's two things we need to do here. We need to classify it by its sides and then determine if it is a right triangle. So there's two tasks that we need to do. So like we discussed in class, you need to um, Use the distance formula to find the different lengths of all the three legs of the triangle. Uh, AB has a length of uh, 3 root 2, and BC is a horizontal line. It has a length of 6. You can use the uh, distance formula if you'd like, or you can just measure the distance between positive 3 and negative 3 is 6. 3 minus negative 3 is 6. And AC has um, a length of 3 root 2. So you can see that we have, um, bear with me for a second here, you can see that we have AC is a length of 3 root 2, I'm sorry, AB is a length of 3 root 2, and AC is a length of 3 root 2. And so we have um, oh, that didn't work out. Well, we have an isosceles triangle. So, so far we know it's isosceles. Then the next part is to determine if it is a right triangle. For that, you need to measure out the slopes. The slope of AB is equal to 3 over 3, which is 1. The slope of BC is 0, and the slope of AC is negative 1. So again, we have that slope of AB is 1, the slope of AC is negative 1, those are opposite reciprocals of each other, or 
1 times negative 1 is equal to negative 1. So they are perpendicular. Therefore, that makes a meets at a 90 degree angle. And it is a right triangle. Okay? Okay, new concept here. We have the triangle sum theorem. And the triangle sum theorem states that the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. And uh, this should help you out here. Here's a picture of a triangle with vertices A, B, and C. And so the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C equals 180 degrees. Okay? Um, that's with the interior angles. Uh, another concept is if you have if you extend one of the legs, then you have um, this picture here, the, and it's the exterior angle theorem, which states that the um, angle one, the outside measure, the exterior angle, this is referred to as the exterior angle, is equal to the sum of the measures of the two remote or far away angles. So that would be angle B and angle C, because they're considered far away from angle 1. The, this would be the one that's closest to angle 1, so I'm not referring to that. It is angle A and angle B. So again, the measure of angle 1 is equal to the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B. So what kind of problems can they give you uh, regarding this? And that is uh, a problem like this. Find the measure of angle 1. Okay, find the measure of um, this angle, which we're calling angle 1. And you know that this is 3x degrees, and you know that this is 40 degrees. So again, by using um, this right here, the, uh, hold on, by using uh, this right here, the measure of angle 1, or the outside or exterior angle, is equal to the sum of the two remote interior angles. I can apply that specifically to this problem, and that is that 5x minus 10 is equal to 40 plus 3x, because 5x minus 10 is my exterior angle, and the sum of the two remotes is 3x and 40. Okay? Um, so then you have, uh, the rest is just um, algebra here, so you get 2x is equal to 50, so x is equal to 25. But it wants the measure of angle 1, it doesn't want uh, the value of x. Remember, you always have to answer the question at hand, and it's asking for the measure of angle 1. So 5x minus 10, which is the measure of angle 1, is equal to 5 times 25, right, because... Um, we just figured out that x is 25, so you substitute that in for x, and you get 5 times 25 minus 10 is equal to 115 degrees, which is um, the exterior angles, the exterior angle rather, but again it's asking for the measure of angle 1. So the measure of angle 1 is equal to 165 degrees, because they form a linear pair. That would be 180 minus 115, which would be the 65 degrees. Okay, the next problem. Um, find the measure of each interior angle of triangle ABC, where the measure of angle A equals x degrees, the measure of angle B equals 2x degrees, and the measure of angle C equals 3x degrees. So um, we have x plus 2x plus 3x equals 180 degrees. Um, remember um, the uh, triangle sum theorem, the measure of the three interior angles totals 180 degrees. So the measure of angle A, hold on here, the measure of angle A is x degrees. We have 2x degrees and 3x degrees. In other words, it would kind of look like this, for example. Here's x, 2x, 
and 3x. So if you um, add up all those, you get 180 degrees. Okay. And therefore, if you add x plus 2x plus 3x, you get 6x equals 180 degrees, or x equals 30. And it asks, what is the measure of each interior angle? So x is 30. That's one of the answers, right? Because the measure of angle A is x. So x is 30, 2x is 60, and 3x is 90. So that would be um, your answer, okay? Okay, and the last problem, uh, problem six. Find the measure of the acute angles of the right triangle. So the acute angles would be um, these two angles here, okay? Um, those are acute because this one right here is obviously the right angle. And then the, this one, um, sh this line shouldn't be there. I'll, I'll, I'll get rid of that in a bit. It's just a, a right triangle. And we have 2x degrees and x minus 6. Those are, those are the two acute angles. And so we have 2x plus x minus 6 equals 90 degrees. Because, again, in a triangle, we have angles 1, 2, and 3 equals 180. But this we already know is 90. So the other two angles, the 2x and the x minus 6, must equal 90, right? 100 and 80 minus the right triangle, minus the 90 degrees. Uh, and then the rest now is um, uh, algebra 1 type stuff. You have 2x plus 3x is equal to, uh, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. 2x plus x is equal to 3x. So you have 3x minus 6 is equal to 90 degrees. So 3x equals 96 x equals 32. But it asks for the measure of the two acute angles, which is 2x and x minus 6. So, 2x is 64 degrees, and x minus 6 is 26 degrees. That would be your answer. Those are the measures of the two acute angles, 24 degrees and 26 degrees. If you have any questions, come see me. I'd be perfectly happy to help you out. All right? See you in class. Bye-bye. And a really quick note. I just noticed that um, when I presented problem four, I said that the measure of, of angle one is 65 degrees, and then I inadvertently or, or incorrectly said at one point that it was 165, and then I repeated again that it was 65. So anyway, sorry for that mistake. I'm kind of, um, you know, thinking of a lot of things when I, while I'm doing this. Um, it's not just like presenting in class. I have a lot of things going on here. Anyway, so the measure of angle one is 65 degrees. I wrote it correctly, and I said it correctly twice, but I made a mistake once. Anyway, I just didn't want that to confuse you. The measure of angle one is 65 degrees. Okay, bye-bye. And another quick note, when I was talking about the uh, exterior angle theorem, I inadvertently referred to this, I think, as angle A and angle B or something, and um, or I think I said angle B and angle C, but of course I made a mistake. It's angle B and angle A, and the exterior angle theorem says that these two angles added up equals the outside angle, the far away outside angle. Okay, so again... Just to clarify, angle one, the exterior angle is equal to the two far away or remote interior angles added up. So um, right here, the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B equals the measure of the exterior angle. Bye-bye.